Introducing my all-wheel drive K-Swapped EG Hatch build. boys welcome back to the channel in today's episode we need to finally start our work on the paint prep on the exterior of the car in the previous videos you guys have seen us working on the interior we got all of the sound deadening removed and sanded down but now it is time to do the drooling exterior we have a lot of body work we needed to do as the previous owner already did it but it was done improperly so we need to go through and redo the entire exterior of this car but this is where things start to get a little tricky especially when i have no idea what i'm doing the interior is one thing we just sanded practically everything there's no body work that needed to get done on the interior but on the exterior as you guys can see here we have a lot of primer and body filler work done that we need to go through and redo the rest of the car like 80 percent of this is very easy all we need to do is go through with essentially red scotch bright scuff it up so it can adhere to the new paint but we need to go through and strip all this primer and body filler and redo it ourselves but we had the paint guy show up today he dropped off our epoxy base coat that we are going to be using on the interior since we have a lot of bare metal. He gave me some pointers on what to do with the exterior prep wise. He's actually coming back again today to drop off more materials that is going to make this a lot easier. Now I've got a feeling to remove this, we are going to need an impact uh, Phillips, but we're gonna go ahead and try with a very large flathead in hopes that we can get this thing off. If it's not, I wasn't even like torqued on or anything. I'm not a body guy, but I feel like that is not proper. I don't know. These are some hefty bolts too. Oh no. Those ones were torqued on. Now an essential key as we are taking this car apart, I mean, it's a bare chassis. So that means we have tons and tons of parts and bolts that we had to take off of this car. It's very important that you make sure you either label or organize all of, all of the parts you're taking off. So when we go to put this thing back together, we're not screwed. Well, looky here, we got the assistance and the coffee. <laughs> we just had a buddy show up and he brought me a nice coffee. Which one's mine? Uh, this one? Fuck yeah. Anyway, um, this is my good buddy. He actually volunteered to come give me a hand sanding today as we have a lot to cover. Uh, what's your initial reaction though? It's a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's cool though. It's pretty light. <laughs> it's think, super light. Do you think I'll be able to put it back together? I think you can do it. <laughs> Lift it up. <laughs> Guys, this car is so light. I thought about buying scales to put under the car to see how much this thing weighs. And you could do it with one hand. But I mean, he is effortlessly lifting this thing. It's so light. <laughs> I want to buy a scale and <laughs> see. No, you and I can, 100%. If you want, later on, you can try to carry this around. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, he came to give us a hand standing. I just went ahead and got all of the hinges and latches removed. I'm gonna go through and move all the plastic pieces, but that's pretty straightforward. We're gonna go ahead and just tackle the whole car with some red Scotch-Brite first. And then we have later on in the day, we have some grit or some sandpaper, some 80 grit and 180 to tackle where all of the primer and body work was done. And we just had our epoxy primer show up on the inside. Another receipt to add it to our stockpile of bill is $153 for this, but he says I can do many cars with this court, which doesn't seem like it, but I guess the stuff goes a long way. All right, well, we got everything removed on the car, all the hinges and whatnot. So we're gonna go ahead and get this car up on jack stands. Alex is gonna go ahead and lift up the whole chassis while I go under and put the jack stands. It's just very wobbly how it is right now, and I don't want this thing to break either off the dollies 
or just make it difficult to sand. Oh, it's hitting the bottom. Uh, is that as high up as you can go? Okay. Um, <laughs> this is so sketchy. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little heavier. More. <laughs> okay, you're gonna drop. But it's not that bad. Wasn't bad at all. <laughs> now that we have this thing stabilized, we're gonna go through with some red scotch bright and hit absolutely every nook and cranny on this exterior. We're gonna go ahead and leave all the primered and body worked parts till later. They said they're gonna try to drop off all of the sandpaper and stuff that I need. So in the meantime, we're going to hit absolutely everything else on here. Had to pay a quick little invoice there. I was hoping that they were gonna be able to bring the sandpaper for the long block that I need to do the primer um, on the exterior of the car and body filler stuff. Fortunately, they can't do it till tomorrow, which is fine. We still have tons of work left on the prep on the exterior, just the regular panels. Um, so it looks like in the next video, we will be fixing all the body panels, putting body filler, primer, stuff like that in the next video. Hopefully we will be spraying in the next video. Um, just not base color. We're going to be spraying primer and stuff like that. This man is putting in the work. <laughs> He's on the ladder and everything.
down, baby. Break, break lines down. Break lines. All right, complete. I also have some very exciting news for you guys. Well, for myself, but for you guys as well. I'll tell you once I pull this brake line out. Damn. This, anyway, the exciting news, as you guys know, I don't film a whole lot under the cars because it's really difficult. I have Alec here right now, so it's making life a little bit easier, but I have bought and purchased a lift that is in transit for the shop. I told you guys I bought a lift like many, many, many months ago, which I did, I wasn't lying. I canceled the lift because I kind of needed the money. Um, <laughs> but now I have, I bought the lift. I'm not canceling it. And, and like hopefully a week here, we'll have a lift. So when we start doing like the all wheel drive stuff, really anything on this car, we're gonna be able to have it nice up in the air, all in the nice, and I'll be able to record. It's just gonna make working on these cars so much easier. Plus I can fit another car in the shop. This is so for heavy doors. Okay. Do you want to just set it down on that and I'll hop down one level and make sure that it's right? Yeah, and then hop down. Got it? Yeah. God, that's sketchy. That's so sketchy. <laughs> These doors are fucking huge. <laughs> uh, do you want the fenders too? No, I have the fenders. Damn, I'm not flat there. Okay. I think the other one. Now this was an attempt as we did not approve of it. Is this something that you would like for us to clear so you can reattempt this transaction or is this special? That was not my transaction. Um, These you scam you callers are getting alert? clever. You did, can you go ahead and respond back to our text alert, sir? Um, I do not want to respond. I see it, though. We need you to respond. Is this a responsive message that we have in the system? Like, why would I need to <laughs> Why would I need to respond when I am telling you I saw it? Well, it's just as a verification because these are the secured alerts that we send out for your debit card. If it's a fraud, that's why we hold, the whole reason why we send out text. Now, uh, to the that was a, excuse me. Um, I'll reach out to my personal banker and see what's going on. Once again, this is <laughs> dialing you on behalf of suspected fraudulent activity, sir. What I'm going to need you to do is go ahead and pull your debit card. Go ahead and turn it over. You're going to get the number reaching out for you. That's as well as the back of the debit card we issued you. It could be a spoofed number. No, sir. As once again, we already posted alerts all over our website. This number cannot be duplicated, replicated, or implicated in any form or fashion. That's not true. You guys are getting clever. No, sir. You can see the alerts on our mobile website. Okay, well, I'm telling you I see the fraud, so how do I go forward? Okay, so this is like that it's not you. That was an online fraud. We are going to have to provide you with temporary loan credentials for the mobile banking. Oh, it, no, that looks like it was my purchase. Yeah, that, that was my purchase made. 
or due to the fact that you verified first thing that wasn't your purchase, we're going to have to close out the card and get you a new one. No, thank you. Why? I'm saying that no. was my purchase. You don't have a choice, sir. You already verified on the monitor report of mine. That was not you. As well as we're looking here on the profile, you have not left out of Spokane, in Washington. I'm still seeing that this is to be reached here. Okay, well, you can send a new card to my address then. The one that you have on file. One, yeah, which is 1028 North Market Lane. Correct. Now, close the debit card out and you verify where we're reaching out for the here, What's that? Verify the debit. <laughs> Uh, it cut to music. Excuse me? When you were talking, it cut to like music. I couldn't hear what you just said. Oh, yes, because I accidentally placed you on a hold. I'm going to need you to turn your card over. Look on the back, you're going to see that 1 800. Yeah, no, I see. It's the same number. Okay. So now, what I'm going to need you to do here is go ahead and log on to that mobile banking. Make sure that $432 charge is not deducted, as well as you're not seeing any other fraud on the account. Okay. Do that now, sir. I don't have access to the app on my phone. I need a computer. Okay, well then go get a computer. Now. <laughs> go get a computer. Now. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm like 40 minutes away from my house. Okay, sir. Are you aware that there's fraud currently going on? E Sure, there's always fraud. What do you mean by there's always fraud? I'm telling you, you that fraud? wasn't my, I told you that was my purchase. Okay, I just so mistaked. what I'm going to do here, you're going to be under investigation. This call is monitored recorded. We will be sending this to the local authorities as Okay, well. that's fine. Um, we're not going to allow fraud on the app, especially with your snitty remarks stating that there's always fraud. So if we do find out that you are actually trying to defraud us, you're calling and picking I'm up the I'm saying it was my like purchase. It's not you. No, no, no. Listen. If, please listen while I'm speaking. Thank you. Once we find out and find who the perpetrators are, I hope you know that it will be an extraction as well as it will be a civil lawsuit going on. So you will get detained and perpetrated and charged as a perpetrator if we find out you are at the bottom to blame for this, okay? That's okay. I can, I can get good lawyers. Okay, I didn't ask what you have. Just know that you will not win against the financial institution. Okay, smart guy? <laughs> Why are you getting mad? My normal banker doesn't yell at me. I don't care about your normal banker. This is a fraud provisioning system, and you're not verifying yourself. So as a safety precaution, on behalf we do have to verify. And as well as I will be looking into your personal banker because there's actually an internal investigation going on in Spokane, Washington. So make sure that that personal banker that you're riding so high is not the person defrauding you. Well, that is good that. because he is not in the Spokane, Washington branch. Okay, well, I didn't fucking ask you, bitch ass boy. So have a good one. And yeah. You too, make scammer. Sure you're not the bottom of the blame, okay, fucker? Okay, scammer. You have a good okay. night. Okay. Fucking <laughs> Dude, they're getting, okay, they're getting clever with their scam calls, um, but this already happened to be like a week ago. Damn. I trust employee got really mad at me. <laughs> I might want to switch banks. <laughs> what, was that, what was that ending though? <laughs> uh, fuck you, small person, or something like that. <laughs> you no, know, I haven't heard that one before, but okay. Anyway, um, with that being said, I, I think that's going to wrap up today. Got the entire chassis sanded down, as you guys can see. This car does not really look like much of a painted car anymore. We also went through the interior, re-sanded this just to make sure, and I changed my mind. I told you guys I was not going to be painting the quarter panels. I am now, I'm only not respraying the roof. I just wanna make sure everything is as perfect as humanly possible. But I mean, take a look at this thing, guys. We are making some very solid progress. This was very tiring. It was a workout. How do you feel um, your first time really working on a car? Uh, my arm hurts, <laughs> uh, but it was fun. It was just a lot. Was a lot. I mean, we did it in like what four hours? Not four hours, hours it took us to get here. Um, and this is kind of just like the baseline. Uh, we still have hours and hours ahead of us to do all of the repairs on the quarter. Um, anywhere that there has been previous work, we need to fix. 
and these doors have quite a bit as well, but we're gonna tackle this tomorrow in the next video when they deliver my products. And we should be making some very, very quick and solid progress here. We even started prepping out the engine bay, even though we do have to still wait to get the frame corrected. Well, with that being said, that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. My arm is killing me holding this camera right now. It is quite literally a workout to stand this car. We're both dying here. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.